Hey guys, I'm here with a whole new video. I came up with this fall makeup look for you guys and it's a bunch of peaches, like peach colors and dark cranberry colors. It is using this Harris Sigma palette that I got online and it's my favorite and I use these eyeshadows, I mean these blushes, I use these blushes as eyeshadows. Also, I have these three liquid lipstick um, to choose from. So if y'all want to learn how I got this fall makeup look, just stick around and we'll get started. Alright, so I already applied my eye primer and now I'm going to go ahead and use this Ben Nye Luxury Powder. Just put in the cap like this and this is going to go into my brow bone. And I'm using this as like eyeshadow. a bit of eyeshadow fallout I'm gonna use the same powder and I'm gonna use this as like an eyeshadow shield and apply this under my eyes this is also going to help brighten up the under eye area for the rest of this look I'm gonna use this Paris palette by Sigma. It's one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. You've seen me use one of these and that, like it has all these eyeshadows right here and then it has a highlight and it has two blushes. My favorite highlight I always use is this one and I just hit pan on it today and I was it really sucks but for the lid I'm gonna go in with this pink highlighter right here. And I'm gonna use this on my eyelids. I'm just patting it on. And then for the transition shade, I'm gonna use this peach color right here. And I'm just gonna apply this on the crease. And then with a clean blending brush, I'm just gonna start blending it all out. Hello, okay. I'm gonna use this dark um, peachy shade, mauve blush color. And I'm gonna use this as eyeshadow as well. And I'm gonna apply this on the crease. If you don't have any like if you don't have and if you don't have this kind of palette that's okay you can use similar colors and that will do and that will work fine as well and then I'm just gonna go back and blend that one out next for the outer corner I'm gonna use Elise these are all French names since because they're trying to make it like more of a French thing. Okay, I'm gonna apply this on the crease of my eye. It's like a dark, plummy cranberry shadow. And then I'm gonna go back and make sure it's blended. You wanna make sure it looks like like airbrushed. Like an airbrush finish. And then if you're losing that dark eyeshadow color, you can go back and just reapply it. Just make sure it's nice 
obviously dark. Blend it out again. For my inner corner of my eye, I'm gonna use this highlight eyeshadow right here. And I'm gonna use my pinky. My little pinky. And just I'm gonna go in with my mascara. This is by CoverGirl and just applying it on my top lashes and now that that's done I'm gonna start curling my lashes before applying any fake ones or applying before applying any um, liquid eyeliner so if you're gonna be curling them while it's, while you're you had applied the liquid eyeliner, it's gonna mess up. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite NYC liquid eyeliner. Next, what I like to do is go back with this peachy shade and I'm gonna apply this on my lower lash, my lower lash line. And then I wanna go in with this darker shade right here and I'm gonna apply it in the center of my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna use this darker shade and I'm gonna apply it on my corner of my lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna blend them out all together. And then I'm going back in with my CoverGirl mascara and applying it on my lower lashes. And then I am going in with my Coco lashes. These are in Queen Bee. They are like one of my favorite lashes now. Um, that I have been using lately and once you get the, like the glue all tacky if you are new to applying eyelashes what you, know, you might like to do is grab some tweezers make sure it is tacky and not so wet because it's gonna be really difficult to get them to stay down and it's gonna keep continue um, lifting up because it is wet so you might want them to get like a little bit more dry just make sure they're tacky and then you're gonna want to pop them on in the center and then once they're there you can drag it down and then like most of us it's hard to put it down like in the inner corner that's why it's best to use tweezers to put for beginners and then you can just drag it down And just try to tighten them up 
little by little. Make sure it is secure. Because you don't want little openings from the eyelashes. Because then what if you meet a guy and be like, hey, nice to meet you. And you have one little eyelash flying up in the sky. And you don't want that, of course. And then I'm just going to go back with this eggplant shade right here. Call it plum. Remember, whatever you want. But I'm going to apply this on the outer V of my eye again once more. Since I feel like it's kind of disappearing back there. And then I'm going to apply this on the other side too. Now that we're done, what I like to do is just swipe off all the excess that we had under our eyes. I'm going to go in with one of my favorite highlighters in Revolution, the Big Bay Highlighter. And I'm going to use a highlighting brush and just apply it on the cheekbones. Cubit ball, my nose, my nose, of course, my chin. For lip number one, I'm gonna go in with Kat Von D and Lolita. This was the third batch. Again, this is Kat Von D, the third batch in Lolita. For the next liquid lipstick shade, I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills in Veronica. Again, this lipstick shade is by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Veronica. Now I am going to use this liquid lipstick by Colourpop in Clueless. And this is Colourpop Clueless. And that is the final look. I hope you all liked this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Please rate this video for more videos. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. And let me know what other um, looks I should create or what other makeup looks would you all like me to use and I'll go ahead and film it for you guys and that's pretty much it. I'll see you all in the next video. Shouldn't cut my hair. No, not
of the ears and alarm. I'm thinking about it lately. Isn't that be cute? What do you guys think? On top of that trend, and now on top of the transition, can we talk? I shall as soon as I use them as I. Gosh, okay. It's with using this. What? It's with. What? 